Let's begin, shall we? Arthur, stop your dilly-dallying. Coming, Lady Unterwald. Thank you all for coming. You know me as the aging heiress of the Waldbahn Empire. But there comes a day for everyone when you know your time is up. I've long desired to leave my legacy in good hands, and after much deliberation... It looks like we're approaching a tunnel, ma'am. Ugh. I do hope it's one of mine. Be quiet, you idiots! We don't have all day. Him. After much deliberation, it's my desire that the Underwald Estate be passed over in its entirety to... <laughs> Heavens oh, above! Dear. No! Wait. It may just be a flesh wound. You're telling us that's how it happened, Arthur. This stinks, Bailey. It's got the unmistakable musk of guilt. Careful, Lamont. We're dealing with a lawyer here. Arthur Ackerman, attorney at law. Listen, Arthur, you're accused of murdering your own client. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm warning you, I'm an ugly crier. Yet unable to shed a single tear for your client. A sweet old lady, tragically cut down in her prime. She was 89 years old. There you are, Mr. Ackerman. Kid, are you blind? We're trying to create an atmosphere here. Just thought I'd check if our guest needs anything. Our suspect, Jimmy. And we're in the middle of an interview. Oh, how exciting! I hope you land the job, Mr. Ackerman. I'm rooting for you. Perhaps I can get a coffee for our interviewee. No. Tea! Get out, kid! He seems nice. That damn coffee boy is thrown off the whole vibe. It's not as simple as it looks, you know. Remember the exercises, Samant. 
exercises? I am confident. I have value. He was about to crack. I could feel it. I wasn't. Stay there, Arthur. Sure thing. I'll be right here when you get back. <laughs> Looks like I'm chained to the desk. What do they take me for? A common criminal? There's a front page story about Lady Unterwald. It's the end of the line. The Unterwald Empire came to a grisly end last night when the wealthy heiress was unexpectedly assassinated aboard her own train. Three suspects are currently held in custody awaiting questioning. There's nothing more reliable than print media. There's a photo of me surrounded by a significant amount of red yarn. That's probably not a good sign. I know things look bad, but I'm not rooting through trash just yet. Oh, if I could just get out of these shackles. You won't catch me incriminating myself, tiny machine. It's every bureaucrat's dream. A box of neatly organized paperwork. Third place runner-up. Most improved policing award. I bet those keys would unlock these shackles. Oh, if only my arms were longer! I now regret never memorizing anyone's phone number. It's a photo of a very large Lamont behind the wheel of a very small car. It's full of cigarette butts. It's a bunch of guidebooks on interrogation techniques. Hammer and chisel. Get your suspects squealing fast with the patented Dirk Chiselton methodology. It's an article from Lamont and Bailey's first big case. Lumbering Flatfoot goes toe to toe with sole criminal. A petty thief at the Shoe Emporium was quickly brought to heel this morning by Lex Lamont and his partner, Justice Bailey. Too weak. Maybe I could funnel the airflow.
That's taken care of. But I still need to find a way out of here. It's a long way down. Perhaps that dumpster could break my fall. Trot, I think they're coming back. Let's try this again, Arthur. The whole story from the top. Well, it began. As all good stories do. With a hard-boiled yet handsome detective. With a series of gratuitous establishing shots. It all started on the Royce Express. The night was still young. I felt like the world was my oyster. I hope those oysters don't come back to haunt me. Ooh, I love a good brochure. But I have other pressing matters to attend to. Is this the Dark Chisel do not line? Yes, I am a little stuck and I need some answers. Mm -hmm. It's quite a sensitive matter. Excuse me, this is a private conversation! Sorry. I assure you, madame, there are no mice about. I'm telling you, I saw it scurry through a hole in the wall. How do you explain the hair in my soup? Impossible. We maintain the strictest hygiene standards. It's a thief, too. I'm sure it ran off with my bracelet. Are you sure you have not merely misplaced the item? Oh, I can hear it in the walls. It's keeping me up all night. I assure you, the other guests have not reported any scratching or squeaking, madame. I assure you, madame. I'm t I've always been fascinated by these little trolleys. Sir, you can order from the dining carriage if you're hungry. Just browsing. It's a very... Generous likeness of Lady Unterwald. There's not as many wrinkles as the real deal. I don't remember leaving my door open. There, that should do it. Hello? Oh, Mr. Ackerman, I presume? I was just... Breaking and entering? On the contrary! I've been sent by our mutual benefactor, Lady Unterwald. Lady Unterwald, of course. If you've come about the sink, it was like that when I got here. Ho, oh, oh, ho! There's no need to be humble, Mr. Ackerman. Tis I, Herman Merman. Acclaimed novelist, detective extraordinaire. Uh... Oh, surely you've read the stories of my cases. I'm not a big reader of fiction. Sorry. Ah, well, there's a letter for you on the dresser. And the suit? Lady Unterwald believes a change of attire is in order. I'll give you some privacy. Until we meet again, Mr. Ackerman! What an unusual encounter. I suppose I should read Lady Unterwald's letter. 
I wonder what Lady Untervald has in store for me this time. Dear Arthur, please report to me at your earliest convenience. I have further amendments to make to my estate before the big announcement tonight. As you know, it's my desire for every passenger aboard the Royce Express to not only enjoy themselves, but to part with a tale worth telling. While the flashy suit provided can be seen as a symbolic gesture of excitement and adventure, it's also a very literal one. Get out of those drab clothes and have yourself a good time. That's an order. Yours sincerely, Lady Untervald. So? I need to meet with Lady Untervald in her quarters. Look out, world. Arthur A. Ackerman has some intense lawyering to do. Ah, oh, what's better than comfy slippers, a tall glass of milk, and an even taller stack of paperwork? Nah, I don't need to look at my undergarments right now. Cool mint flavored mouthwash. Advisory, contains pure ethanol. Ingredients, ethanol, 29.9%. Eucalyptol, menthol, methyl salicylate, paloxamer 407, thymol. It's room 306. This way for dining carriage, casino carriage, lounge area. It's room 302. Hello? Hmm. Hello? I guess nobody's there. Hello? Looks like nobody's home. Anyone in? They must have left. This way for kitchen carriage, kitchen pantry, service carriages. Arthur Ackerman. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Stop butting in, Hagen. He was talking to me. No, he was clearly talking to me, Gunther. Well, I guess I was talking to both of you. Both of us? At once? Well, what is it? Do you know where I can find Lady Unterwald? She's just up ahead. Keep moving through the carriages, and you'll reach her eventually. Thanks. I should probably go. Bye. Bye. Are you nearly ready? I'm not getting any younger, dear. Alas, you cannot rush perfection. Mm, 
My apologies. Am I interrupting? Not at all, Arthur. I'll be with you shortly. Pierre should take butter... Moment! I see even Arthur made an appearance. I capture every detail in the frame, madame. Exactly as I see it. Well, I do wish you'd take some creative liberties, dear. We don't want anyone thinking I've got this many wrinkles. As you wish. We can attempt another portrait during my speech, if you like. <laughs> Arthur, I've just signed another amendment to my will. It's by the window. Of course. I'll keep it safe in the briefcase for now. You'll have to accept my apologies for all the cloak and dagger theatrics. I must confess, I'm a little nervous about the speech tonight. Ma'am? It's going to ruffle some feathers. But do you think any of them are cut out to take over the reins? Pickering sycophants, the lot of them. They're just waiting for me to kick the bucket, you know. Oh, it makes my blood boil just thinking about it. Would you be a dear and open the window? It's getting quite hot in here. I need some air. better. I feel myself again. You might just be the most useful person here, Arthur. It's good to know I can rely on you. Now it's time to gather the family. This old lady's got a speech to make. Oh, no. I knew I should have upgraded to the anti-gust model. How could I have been so irresponsible? I didn't know Lady Unterwald played an instrument. The card was signed from a Mr. Jean Liu. A secret admirer, perhaps? Will, it's caught on the window. I might still have time to grab it. Arthur, stop your dilly-dallying. Coming, Lady Unterwald. All right, chop chop. Let's begin, shall we? Sure, you haven't just misplaced your room key, sir. Misplaced? Must I remind you of who I am? No, sir. You've been very clear. Tis I, Herman Merman. Surely you've read the stories of my cases. Herman Merman and the murmuring German. Herman Merman and the squirmin chairman. Sorry, sir. Not a big reader. Not even Herman Merman and the Sermon of Vermin? No, sir. Good heavens! My point being, I don't misplace things. I solve cases. That's excellent news, sir. I'm sure you'll have no problem with the case of the missing room keys. Well, uh... Yes! <laughs> You're quite right. I smell a rat, and I'm going to sniff them out if my name isn't Herman Merman! Oh!
Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> thank you for gathering here. There is a killer among us, but I assure you they've made a grave mistake. They couldn't have accounted for the presence of a world-renowned detective. There's a detective aboard this train. Oh, indeed there is. Well, where are they? Tis I, Herman Merman, detective extraordinaire. And you have experience in solving murder cases, Mr. Merman? I, I need not bore you with the details. Let's get straight down to business, shall we? Behold! Good heavens! <laughs> Lady Unterwald's final moments were captured by the renowned speed painter, Pierre Bross. It's clear that nobody approached Lady Unterwald directly. That means the attack must have been made from a distance. Mr. Ackerman, you were safekeeping Lady Unterwald's last will and testament. That's right. I had to oversee some last-minute amendments to the will. Are you suggesting this amended will could reveal a motive, Mr. Merman? Indeed. I believe it to be the smoking gun that will unravel this entire mystery. Bravo, Herman Merman. Bravo! Hand me the will, Arthur. We should be able to wrap this up in no time at all. Is this a bad time to say I don't have it? Wait! You don't have the will? That was your only job! I hope you weren't counting on it for your big reveal. Well, I... I... Herman Merman? Are you all right? He's gone quite pale. I may be hard of hearing, but it sounds like our detective is out of ideas. Uh-oh. Is that the sound of another tunnel? No! That's when the killer strikes! Help! Somebody get me out of here! <laughs> Herman? <laughs> well then. What do we do now? I need to find out who killed Lady Unterwald. Or I could be the next one to vanish. I'll need to talk to the other passengers. Maybe they saw something. Lady Unterwald's quarters could hold some clues.